Are y'all dumb? Are y'all stupid? Who is worshiping a crystal? Who? What does that even mean? Hey y'all, welcome back to or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today we are talking about crystals being demonic. Was that ASMR? If you hear and recognize what that sound is in my microphone, then you can tell where I stand on this issue. I'm just going to blow all of these accusations and beliefs away right now, okay? This is a stone rock that was formed in the earth years and years and years and years ago. Crystals are older than Satan and any demons. So how can they be demonic? This is a fact. This is according to the Bible, the timeline of the Bible, all of that. Just as regular rocks, any rock that you find outside in the ground, any piece of marble that you would have in your home, any diamond or pearl that you would buy in the store, any birthstone that you would wear around your neck. Just as those aren't evil, these are not evil. Nothing is inherently evil. I will repeat this so many times on my channel. If you don't want to hear it, then you might as well just go now because I'm going to say it over and over again in a lot of videos. So just be prepared. Nothing that is natural and that is already of this earth that has came from God can be inherently evil. That's like saying bleach is evil because you can use it to hurt somebody. But you also use it to clean. So just because it's it's possibly dangerous, it's all about the intention of that person using the bleach. If their intention is to clean their bathroom, then it's not evil. It's not demonic. But if their intention is to hurt somebody, then that's evil. And that's the difference. Like, is that so hard to understand? Okay, and now that we've got that out of the way, the next argument for groups of people such as Christians, Catholics, other religious people, they will say, okay, well, they might not be evil, but it's bad because you guys are worshiping crystals. This is what they think we do with crystals. Oh, great crystal. Thank you so much for making everything in my life so wonderful. And that is only because of you. I love you so much because you are making everything in my life so great and you are solving all of my problems. Are y'all dumb? Are y'all stupid? Who is worshiping a crystal? Who? What does that even mean? Even if somebody was worshiping a crystal, crystals come from God. So they would be worshiping a form of God. That doesn't make any sense. The reason why crystals are important to spiritual people is because they hold higher vibrations. And even if you knew anything or if you even looked into spiritual practices before condemning them, you would know that all spiritual people or most, they program their crystals other than selenite, other than clear quartz you would know that we program our crystals. And that means that you have to infuse your intention into that crystal. It already has the higher vibration. So when you put your intention into it, it just makes it even stronger. If that's what you believe. Many people have a lucky rabbit's foot or they have lucky socks or they have a lucky jacket or a any article of clothing or any special item that they feel is lucky to them. That's the same thing. They're putting the intention and the belief into that item that when they wear it, they're going to have luck in their life. It's the same thing. If this sodalite is known to increase your third eye's abilities and that's what you believe and that's the intention that you put into this, this stone when you wear it on your body or when you meditate with it, it's going to work that way. 
This is the power of your mind. It's not even the power of this. This can mean nothing if you don't put anything into it. Anything could mean nothing. The power of your mind is what makes everything. So if it is scientifically proven that these things are higher vibrational and that you want to be vibrating at a higher frequency because this is science, this has nothing to do with just spirituality. It does, but it's not based on just somebody saying something. This is measured. This has been tested and proven. So if this is something that is going to raise my vibrations and make me feel better physically and spiritually, then why wouldn't you want to carry something like that on you? Just as that character in the Bible had crystals in their uh, garment or whatever, why wouldn't you want to walk and operate at a higher vibration? We know that trees and dirt and earth and everything outside is high vibrational. Everything natural is high vibrational as far as the elements, water and all of that. So those aren't evil. Going outside and getting some fresh air is not evil. And y'all show was listening to Stormy talk about that low vibrational plate that that girl was eating. And y'all went along with that. Never eat a plate that looked like this. You pay me a million dollars to do that to myself. Mm. Oh my God. And it comes better than that. That's mm. low vibration. But when it comes to a high vibrational item, a natural item, such as a stone or a rock or a gem, <laughs> everything is just you're going to hell, you're demonic, you're evil, you're this, you're that. It just, y'all gotta be consistent with what y'all are saying. And let me reiterate this for the people in the back. Y'all are so focused on crystals, um, 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 soda lights, fluorite, lapis lazuli, y'all are so focused on these being demonic, right? But you're still going to this jewelry store and you're paying thousands of dollars for diamonds. Diamonds are one of these. Diamonds are in this family. Diamonds are like these. So what is the difference between a diamond and one of these? Why would you pay thousands of dollars for something that is in the family of what y'all call evil and pearls same way? So it's like y'all are making yourself look stupid because you're just going along with what somebody is trying to tell you, but you're not even critically thinking for yourself as, oh, I'm wearing this birthstone. I'm wearing my birthstone, which is literally one of the crystals, one of the stones one of the gems, but that's okay. And that's astrology. That's astrology. Y'all are not thinking. It's like, don't put us down. Don't put spiritual people down and then do things that are against your religion. Like if you're going to do it, then do it and make sure that you do your research and make sure that you you know, to cross all your T's and dot your I's because you're going so hard for something that is not even correct and something that you're participating in. You're doing it too, but you're not evil, right? So we're not evil. I don't know who is the person that said that spiritual people worship crystals, but that is not true. And if you do, then you're really misunderstanding the purpose of crystals which is to raise your vibration and um, to get a certain result from those energies and those vibrations being higher such as a peace of mind or such as um, your health being better or your mentality being clearer that's the purpose not to worship something just to worship it and that is all i have on that let me know your thoughts down below it's always going to be somebody that wants to debate, which is fine because I made my points and um, you're going to believe what you want to believe and that's fine. But I do want to know what y'all think. So let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you.
And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all. I will see y'all in the next video.